<sighs> the heat's kind of subsiding. It's a little bit better. I do have AC. No. Yeah, I think it's also around 92, but now with AC, it's not as bad because, you know. Yo, Keon, thanks so much for the sub. Appreciate that. Let's see if there's anything good out there. Game. Oh, that didn't work. This is some... Some. This is probably pretty good. For, like, warm-up. This Roblox ass map. What the fuck? What's, I don't know what's going on here. I thought I already. No. Laser cutter. Uh, okay. I just processed. I should probably avoid that, huh? Dude, when I was a kid, I thought building a PC meant, like, you actually fucking built it. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying by that? Like, you, every part, like, you made the, the motherboard and shit. That's what I thought building a PC meant. I don't like that to the sun. Very hard. I didn't say it was like a difficult one or something. Oh, I see. Oh shit. Well, I hope it's okay. I I, I just want. I didn't want it to be like a a corner or something. No. Oh, Marie, we live. What do you know? We live those. It's like how to platformer feels like how to platformer, yeah. Ah. This is so sad. I'm an idiot, chat. No, platformer physics are really good. The games are so fucking hard. Blech. Hey, Star Game. So I have to confess right off the bat, I am not in a good mood at all. Today's been terrible. Just terrible. But that's okay. No, because I don't have quick between frames yet. Although I think they just got geo back so I can go get it like today or something. But no, I didn't have some for you. Ah, I probably should be looking at the screen, huh? Okay, that's fine. Oh, that timer's counting down. I just clocked that. I thought it was going up for some reason. I really only care about the two frames and like globe for videos and such. Go up. 
this one's easy. <sighs> I've already seen this one before. I don't really want to play Tartarus, it's not very fun. I don't really want to play anything hard ever again. Except for Rest in Peace, it's only going to be it for me. For a long, long time. And I'd like to be a Spera. Of course. Good. Outside of that, and... Marlowe. Ah, uh, this one's gonna be a challenging one for your boy here. Damn it! Ah, uh, I'll do one more try. Maybe. Hybrid Demons is too hard though. This game's not fun at all anymore with fucking 2.2 controlling like it does. Yeah, my vision's not so good. Vision not so good for that uh, one. It's a pretty cool concept, I like this level. I'm verifying rest in peace, and then I'm just gonna be doing content probably for a really long time. I know, I'm doing this, and then I'm putting it down for a while. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. That's a piece of a normal level. One of the last normal levels I ended up like really going for. Fucking Rob, man. I know all about that jump. Fuck! Uh, I mean, I don't really have any ideas for any, like, series like that. I got it's easy. You can stand still. Yeah, rest in peace is sick. An episode series. Anyway, I'm all mopey because, uh, well, I, so you know how I thought I got rid of the mouse infestation? Well, I thought I did because I wasn't seeing them anymore, but I've just found out that they've been living in my couch. Which fucking sucks, man. That couch was, uh, not to get, like, emotional, but that couch is, like, the only thing I had left from my old house in Ohio. You know? That was it. That was it. That was the last thing that I had from there. And sitting there, uh... I don't know. It felt like home in a way. You know? I'm not very sentimental of a person. Yeah, from back, uh, before 2018, I lived in Ohio for many years. I'm not very sentimental, but I chose to, uh, I was, I was emotionally invested in that couch, I guess. And, I don't know. It's just got me down. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to replace the couch, and the mouse infestation's still here. I'm probably just gonna move out at this point. With my with myself being able to upload uh, weekly, I should be able to afford enough to move out somewhere. Hopefully, because I can't do this anymore. I just can't. I mean, that just destroyed me, man.
<sighs> but that's life, I guess. I hate mice more than anything in the world, man. I hope they all burn. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them, dude. Why is moving up so urgent? Because I've been dealing with a mice infestation for a year. Well, over a year, and it just ruined probably the thing I have the most sentimental value in in this entire house. Fuck them, dude. Yeah, not a not a good dad. I think it's crazy. Like I I've uh, I've been through so much shit in my life, and somehow this is like one of the most frustrating things to me. It's crazy. Like you'd think you would think that like someone who's Seen and gone through all this would like just brush it off, you know. For some reason, I fucking can't, man. That sucks. I can't even describe why it sucks so bad, man. Yeah, I'm having a hard time brushing that one off, I guess. But brush it off, I will. I basically lived on that couch for a month. Uh, when I was recovering from surgery. You know? I remember when we got that couch, it was, I don't know, like 2016, I think. I remember because I had something really bad happen to me and I ran out into the living room to be all like mopey about it or whatever and there was like two fucking couches in the living room. I was like, what is, I couldn't stay mad because I was like, what is this about? You know, why are there two couches in the living room? And they're like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna replace this old couch with the new one, but we yeah, haven't found a new one to take it yet, so they're both gonna be here for a while. So it's like I like a two couch world for a little bit. Oh, I thought that was a compare. Whatever. Yeah, I know this song. Dun 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 dun. Wait, fuck, not this one. Get from the stars. I know what that means. Wait, I, I'm not playing that. I had to think really hard about it, but I know what that is, and I don't need to play it. No one needs to play that. No, another puzzle. I need needle, needle. Not really. I can't look at a. Can you send the ID? If I ever use needle warm up, I don't have the A or D key right now. Na 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 na. na, na. I feel like every like super highly rated level is just like its own game. I think that. I think that a level that's really well made should still be like even if it's not like a. Even if it's just like a GD level, but it's like a really good level, it should be able to be myth mythical or whatever. It shouldn't just be like, how far away from GD can we make it? You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Ugh. So I think I'm just gonna have to get a new couch. Aren't couches expensive as shit though? Like good ones? Like way more than I have. Yeah. 
I'm gonna have to uh, think about that when I move. I think I'm just not gonna be able to use a couch until I move. Which I guess I just start looking for that. Oh shit! I didn't. I thought that was gonna be like a cube or something. To be honest with you, a thousand plus hole. Fucking shit, man. What? Does anyone know why this happens? Fuck that. I don't understand. I like. I don't think anyone's ever explained it to me. No, nah, fuck that, Mitch. We ain't gonna. Oh, what the what the hell is all this? Ten diagonals. I mean, I can do ten diagonals theoretically. It's not that bad anymore. Oh no. No, I lost the flow of it. I lost the flow of it. Oh, these are just these. Okay. See if I can do this without using a checkpoint. Maybe I can. Mm, I don't know about all that. My biggest enemy with games like these are like these consistency trials things. Like I've always been so bad at consistency trials. I don't know why my brain just gets like unfocused or something and I just fuck it up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm just not very good at them. Ah, oh, these jumps. These jumps are no good. I'm a little bit better at them than I used to be. That was unfortunate. Yeah, it's like click consistency. I was never very good at that either. No, hardest muncher stairs would have would have taken me out. Ah, fuck that. Actually, I haven't practiced these jumps like at all in my life. I don't really know how to do them well. Yeah, Mitch, we, we ain't trying to get a new couch up there. I think we're just gonna have to... I'm just gonna have to wait until we do something, because... I don't, I don't even have the money to, so... I just don't get to have a couch anymore, I think. Um, oh, just like, full momentum it. Wait, I know what it wants me to do. I'm not gonna actually try to beat this. Attainable coin. Mm. Fucking diagonals, mate. In between, that's what we call these. Now we do the cancer jumps. Alright, whatever. Wait, fall up to the top mark right into see cool thingy. Oh shit. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Null. Is this just literally null or like, you know, I'll activate practice mode. I'm kind of washed up though if I can't uh, beat this level. But I mean, I guess I literally haven't played in like 20 minutes, so I can't be, I can't be that hard on myself. What am I trying to go in there for? I don't know why I'm doing that. Null jump scare. It's a new kind of jump scare. I, I've always hated setting stuff up, like, because like, it's, it's like the same principle behind why I hate computer programming, right? Because it's always just like, it's, it's obvious what you have to do, but you can't actually, like, uh, I don't know what the fuck. I thought maybe that there was a way to do this and that. But this is like a reason why you can't do it. I don't like it. 
Oh, you have to go in them in order. I didn't know that. All right, let's try to form up. I guess I'm so washed up, dude. No, we don't need to select it. I never learned how to do those, like, uh... Those types of jumps. That's a good warm-up level, though. If I was actually good, I'd probably be able to do it. But I haven't practiced those, like, uh, those height jumps or anything. Maybe C2 quared. Appreciate it. Why would he? I had BK with the Crimson Sky. It took like not very long because it's a pretty easy Grandmaster. Here you go, Luke. You guys been having fun? Been a fun time for you guys? This will not be easy in five years, still. Here's the thing, gaming as a whole has changed in the past few years. People are serious about this shit now. Gaming wasn't like as big of a thing, even back like in 2018, I mean, like, people weren't putting in that much effort into beating levels. Like, they were, but it wasn't, like, a super common thing. Now, it's serious shit, man. I don't think space is entirely to blame. Well, mostly, but, like... I wish our difficulty didn't progress so fast in 2020, dude. I think the game would have been a lot more fun for me for a lot longer, and a lot of others as well. If you didn't artificially push the standard. Because there's nothing wrong with pushing the standard if someone actually does it, but... I don't know. In five years, Grief will not still be in the top... Oh, no, 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 it will be in the top 20. I thought you were saying, like, it will be, like, top 20. Like, it will still, like, it will still be, like, top, like, five, probably, like. That's the thing. I don't think I'm going for new hardest ever again. I'm sorry to disappoint, but I fucking hate this stupid-ass game right now with its physics. I hate it. I hate the physics so much. And I don't really want to play in 2.1. I don't want it. I'm sick of adapting. Even, yeah, it just doesn't feel the same, man. Like, I'm just complete ass, for one, and two, it doesn't even feel good. Like, there's no point in me doing it. And hey, if it feels the same for you, I'm glad, but it doesn't feel the same for me at all. It just doesn't. Yeah, I got one red time yesterday. I died to this shit. Exactly like that. When it turns out it was canceled, I don't even know if it's still going. And if it does get back, maybe, but like, I don't know. 
And something you guys have to understand is I literally sacrificed the entirety of 2023 in order to beat two new hardest. Do you guys really want that again? Do you really want me to throw everything away to beat a level that isn't even that fucking hard? Probably not. You'd rather have me just like making content. If we're being honest, why the fuck would I like... It's not a good idea at all. I mean, they did, but what am I, I, like, I did it, you know? That's it. I can have a whole lot bigger of an impact if I just get my shit together. And I actually upload content as opposed to taking the easy way out and going for hardest. Oh, well, I can't do any content because I'm busy playing this. That's the easy way out. I wanna get real. To be completely honest with you. I'm sick of, I'm sick of being bad anyway. I'm I just I'm so talentless, dude. It's embarrassing. End of Destiny was nice to beat, but it proved to me that like, wow, I am just one of the worst video game players to ever touch the face of the earth, dude. And it's like, I can, like, once you understand something like that intrinsically, like, yeah, I can push against it and be harder stuff. Of course I can't, but it would just take so much fucking time. And at that point, is it even worth it? I'm going to be 22 in August, bro. I'm getting old, man. I, because any subsequent harder level would take a year. Like at that point, it's not worth it. No, I don't want to do. I don't want to do Silent Club stuff. For me, it's it's like it's almost like a bad habit I need to break. Going for long grinds. It's no good for me anymore. Be levels for fun now. I want to have fun. I don't want to spend another year on a level. I don't. I don't have the time to afford it. Maybe when I was 16, sure. But I'm getting old. When it comes to the internet, like I gotta choose my time wisely. Oh, I beat that a long time ago. Yeah, I'll probably finish just for a Amelia, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate that. And it seems like I in a, I'm in a bad mood. I absolutely am. This is honestly the worst I've felt in a very long time. Man. Fuck mice, dude. 
If there was anything I could count on, it was, you know, after a long day, going to that couch and just hanging out. I don't even have that anymore. Fuck mice, dude. Fuck mice! How dare they take away my fucking couch, bruh. Fuck! That mattered to me so much, man. I saw, I know I'm whining like a bitch, dude. I know I am. Fuck! Phantom, thank you for the subs. Appreciate it, man. God. Let me turn up my AC a little. It's getting hot in here. <sighs> I do. It's a thing with my autism. I don't know why I'm like this. I, I get very sentimental about objects. More so than people, honestly. It's weird. I remember I had this pencil in fourth grade that I was really sad when I lost it. I had it for like three years. That shit got fucked up, that pencil. I only used it for special occasions. You know. I had a mouse pad. I had the same mouse pad since like 2013 or something until it eventually just got too much. Yeah. I don't know, man. No, I thought that was going to work. Yeah. But I, I, I was very attached to that couch. It breaks my heart, y'all. It just breaks my fucking heart. I've had to deal with mice for so long. I've just gotten paranoid now. Constantly checking the corner when I walk into a room. I mean, I know it's not their fault, but fuck. Fuck if I care, right? The way that my autism is, I don't let myself get sentimental over things anymore. I'm not in some like weird edgy way, it's just like, uh, the world keeps on changing, you know? I keep moving, things keep changing, so I don't really, uh, get... I've tried everything, man. I've tried everything. I once had people, like, drill holes through all my walls to look to see where the openings were. Like, I've tried everything, is what you have to understand. Yeah, mice ate my fucking couch. <laughs> I don't let myself get sentimental any about things anymore, so I have a few objects from when I did that I hold very dear and I just lost one of them. The other is in my room. It's a creeper, a Minecraft creeper. I've had it in my room since probably since Minecraft came out. Is he HG autism? No, they're different. Yeah, chance the creeper. I don't remember telling you guys about that, but I guess I must have. Alright, let me uh, put on some music. Oh, I don't know. They might have categorized it as Asperger's back in the day, but they don't use that term anymore. I don't think they're really... Uh, I, just, I have it uh, pretty bad. Mm hmm...
Uh, music. What do you guys want to listen to? Hmm. Minecraft will put me to sleep right now. I don't need that. That should have, that should have put me to sleep. We do not need to go there. Galaxy wins today. If every song is a song, I fall asleep, but it's not, so. But yeah, I am. Um, I don't know. I never play Minecraft story mode now. I just know the pig dies and someone made a clip about it. At one point. But yeah, my, my dad, uh, he got me into Minecraft when it first came out. He thought it was really cool. And he still plays it to this day. I guess I do too, right? Bad. So he got me, uh, he got me a creeper in my room. Chance the creeper. And I will remain in my room until the end of time. It doesn't show any signs of wear and tear. At one point, I had an infestation in my room because why not, right? And they started crawling over a chance, and I was not having that shit. I solved that in infestation within the week, I think. I went, like, psychotic. Finding all the entrances and patching them and using... All I could to get rid of them. Which is why, I guess, it sucks that I can't do anything about my couch to save it. It's just fucked up from all the urine and shit. And also because I was looking for my 3DS charger. And then I opened it up to just find this mound of shit in there. I'm not going to the 3DS charger somewhere else entirely. Not with the mound of shit. And I know it's recent because, uh, well, I sat in that couch for so long during my recovery that I started to put a dent in it. The dent is gone now, but that's at least my fucking worries. Uh, and I remember moving the cushion around a bunch to try to get it fixed, and uh, I never ran, in, ran into any. No shit. So it had to have been within the last week, really. I don't know, man. I keep my house clean as hell. Except no matter how often I vacuum, which, I mean, I could be vacuuming more frequently, right? I vacuum like once every two weeks. There's always just so much hair. Because I think I just dispense so much hair. <laughs> like a fucking dog or something. You know? Yeah, I'm the fucking hair machine over here.
We're gonna make a video with that five minute MCID in the front of the K video. Uh, what is that? I forgot about what that was. Oh, I'm just doing a, I'm just doing a, a, a run. Think about it like a start position run. Oh, really good. I'm up 2k right now. You know, FanDuel, DraftKings, just can't get enough of them. There's probably other ones. Oh, yes, I thought you were talking about Minecraft. Yes, I will make that a video. When I, when I saw MC, because we were talking about Minecraft, I thought we were talking about. Yes, that, that's, uh, that's definitely planned. I don't think I'd ever gamble. I am admittedly rather gifted at finding patterns, right? But it's a zero-sum game, right? In order to win, someone has to lose. Is that really how I want to make it, quote-unquote? Even if I end up being like a go and I end up like being really good at it or something, would I even be happy? Probably not. There's a good idea for a video called I Upload My Visible Ray Completion. Yeah, many more videos to come. <laughs> That'd be really good. But yeah, I'll, I'll do some things. No, this time it's actually happening, like 100%. I'm uploading Sunday, I have editors, I have them making the videos for the next week, and then the next week, and then the next week. Like, it's coming, it's not a joke this time. I, 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 I was, I said in very clear terms that this was, I said that like, two months ago, it was probably gonna start in like July, and now July is about to be here, and I'm starting to. My hands are just sticky. <sighs> On a Sunday? I think it's tomorrow. I have a video and thumbnail, so I think we're good to go on that front. It's not, it's just gonna be how to platform. It's not gonna be that crazy of a video. So people are just gonna be like, we waited this long for this, but then they'll see. They'll see. I had a dream that, um, do you know how oranges exist? I had a dream that they were like reds and yellows and greens and blues and purples, and they were all like shaped like oranges, but they were like longer and shorter depending on what color they are. Because you know how like color wavelength 
correlates to like the like the length of a uh, like the wavelength of a. I mean, like color correlates to the wavelength, and uh, like purple is a shorter one. So the the purple orange was really like small, and then the blue one was a little bit bigger, and they kept getting bigger, and then the red was like this. The reds look more like a fucking banana. And I had a dream that those just kind of grew everywhere. Like all those different kinds of colors and everything. So I spent most of my dream going around and exploring different color plantations. And just kind of looking at their arrays and everything. That's pretty cool. Some of them chose to arrange it completely randomly. Some of them chose to arrange it like you're the reds to the purples, like in order. Some of them did like more like a circle pattern where the reds were on the inside and as you went out, it went out color was. No, I wasn't a farmer. I was like a, like a, I was like visiting, like a tourist or something. I don't really know. But yeah, it was pretty cool. It feels like losing like a like a pet or something to me right now. Because like I don't know. I guess it's hard for me to put it into words. I don't think a normal person grieves a fucking couch, but that's just how how we operate around here, I guess. I don't think I'm going to be that sad when Elsie passes, uh, just because she's like 14 now. She's still doing really good, though. But like, I mean, what more can you even ask for? I don't know. Like, for example, like I was sad when my grandpa passed, but he lived a very full life, you know? And he was suffering from a lot of stuff. So maybe I didn't... I guess I've never really processed grief correctly. I'm not really sure. But to me, the couch was still young. The couch was still... Like, that couch still had a while left to go. It didn't have to die like this. Wow, 21? You were born in the... I was born in the same year as a dog that's still alive? That's crazy. No, the couch has been around since 2016. It wasn't even that old. That's crazy. Yeah. That's all they really say about Alcy too. She's still a dog. She's hanging out. Dogs keep their energy a lot. Like if they get older. There's rarely like a warning. Just one day they'll be like, and I'm not eating anymore, and we're dead. We had, a, we had an old dog named uh, Zoe. She was like an orange dog. Which is really all I can say about her because like breed-wise, she was just like a million other things. 
and she had three likes. I've probably talked about her before. She was literally like perfectly fine until one day she was like, and hey, I'm not gonna eat, and then she was dead the next day. Like it was just random. Yeah. I don't know how dogs do it. They don't age like humans age. But I mean, I was sad when she passed too, but at the same time, she was a big dog, right? She wasn't like Elsie. She was a big dog. She lived to 13 or even 14, I think. It's hard for me to be truly sad over it. Yeah. I remember my my parents, we were in D.C. visiting. Uh, my parents lived in D.C. for like one year. I don't remember why. I don't think they've ever told me what the fuck they were doing in D.C. for a year. Um, but they went to visit like an old friend. And this dog came up. This dog was so old. I think this dog was 20 years old, actually. And it was like extremely emotional because like everyone thought that that dog was definitely gone by this point. And it's really cool. Yeah, geezer dog. She hasn't aged a day since she was like two, it feels like. Like I, 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 look, I was looking at my phone and I saw a video of her in 2014 when she was like four and she just looked the exact same, <laughs> like one to one the exact same dog. Yeah. I have. Awesome. I know that happened a bunch uh, walking around the city. Then there's a dog will appear, no identification, no nothing. Cats are around too, but they don't really like to approach. Because you know they're cats. But I see them. All the time. There are cats everywhere. Uh, it's a mixture of both. There's a lot of wild cats, but also I, I know a lot of people, even personally, they let their cats roam around outside, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but... They do it. I'll get you guys a photo of Elsie from... What do you know? Yeah, they do always end up home for the most part. Yeah. This is Elsie right now. Or, I guess, three days ago. This is also Elsie. This is her favorite couch. She loves this couch. She's the only one who uses this couch, actually, because she can watch the she can watch the uh, the door from that couch, 
And dogs like that. They like being able to see you enters and leaves and everything. If you've ever had a dog, you'll know what I mean. Oh yeah, that's her couch. That's where she naps between 1 to 3 p.m. every day. And whenever you try to like interact with her between 1 and 3 and she's on the couch, she'll just like... She doesn't bark. She's just like, mm. She makes like a little like whimper noise. But not even like a whimper, like like a like a whine. She's just like, mm. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. And if you mess with her enough, she'll get up, do a circle, and then come back to the same couch. Hi, Brander, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you, man. Yeah, they like the circle. They're a fan of doing the circle because they think they're on to something with it, you know what I mean? That was so bad. I remember, uh, not even, I, it's not even that I remember. The thing about Elsie, when you, whenever we walk her, is you can't do a 180 with her. She'll, she doesn't like just going back the same way she came. So you have to like trick her into thinking you're always walking in a new direction by finding somewhere to like make it a circle so that you can like loop back. She always wants to be walking forward. So it's like a puzzle whenever you walk out, so you have to make it so she's always walking forward, or it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's just how our brains work, even though they're not like that. Yeah, you gotta solve, like, the Professor Layton dog puzzle to get back home, or she'll just stand there. She'll be like, no. Like, you can't make her do a 180. Very few things she'll just say no to, that's one of them. And that might actually be it. Otherwise, she's, she'll, you can convince her to do anything. But she, she doesn't do, she doesn't do 180s. No way. Yeah, she follows her to be around a roundabout. That's usually how it gets solved. If I can find it. Is it mid-2023? <laughs> uh, I remember Elsie was looking at me like, 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 what is this, what is this, what is this look that she's giving me? She, she gave me this for like, so long. She wanted something out of it, but I didn't know what she wanted. Nope, oh, that's there. I'm trying to remember when we did this trip. I'm trying to find something very specific. Yeah, so stern, so confident. Like, what's with that? Maybe I'll never find what I'm looking for, actually. I guess I'm too stupid to solve this. Yeah, who knows. <sighs> I was trying to find a photo of when we went up to Maine. We did a lot of walking with Elsie and she really liked uh, climbing up mountains. You know, she, she likes, she really likes hiking up mountains. 
So we took her up to Maine so she could hike up some mountains with us. I've never seen a dog so happy in my life, maybe. I'm not sure. She's a very outdoorsy dog. For sure. Don't get me wrong, she likes being inside, but she loves hiking. I've never seen her so confident before, you know? She was really willing to give it all a shot. And uh, when she wasn't able to walk, if it was just too steep, whatever, we'd have this backpack. We had this sort of like dog backpack that my dad would wear. And like her, her little head just popped out. And that's the photo I was trying to find. And she would observe the world from in there. I tried to find it, I couldn't find it. Because I don't remember when we went up there. It could have been at any point in the last three years, but probably two years. And I like looked through all of them, I couldn't find it. Wow, I've never done that in my life. That's honestly new. <laughs> He's very judgy. She loves to stare in a way in which you look at it and you're like, maybe I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing, I guess. Because, like, what is that look? I've, like, never seen her not looking at someone. I think she's always been very frustrated she can't understand what we're saying. And she always tries to figure things out, I can tell. She's gotten very smart. She'll like, uh... My mom, like... Cause, uh, you know, uh, she goes on a walk every day before 1 p.m. Like at like noon. And my mom's the one who takes her, so... I'll uh, see we'll sit in a way where she can hear. My mom works from home, so she can... So I'll see can hear her meeting. And she'll wait for, like, a certain vocal inclination. You know how when you're when you're on a call with someone... And you're getting ready to leave, you're like... Your, your voice kind of pitches up at the end. It's like, alright, well, I think that that's gonna... You know what I mean? Like, when you when you end something. You you get a little bit louder, you get a little bit higher pitch. She'll always, Elsie will always pick up on that and she'll get up from wherever she's sitting and go to the door. Because usually it means she's going on a walk. <sighs> oh yeah, she's she's a very, very intelligent dog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm To the point where, uh, like, if me and my mom were just talking and she accidentally does the vocal inclination thing, my dog would, like, look up, like, does this mean something for me? <laughs> it's funny to watch. Because usually I don't even pick up on the fact that my mom did it, but then it's like, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I like Rock Mario more than B Mario. Although I was trying to control it on this like shitty latency TV and it was so hard. Like we'll get to get one of like the green stars in Galaxy 2. Either that or the nunchuck was fucking up. Probably that one. Either way, it took like 15 tries or something. Rock Mario is one of the best power ups, I think. It's so cool. Although Galaxy's power ups are probably like the weakest part about those games, honestly. Almost everything is cooler than their power ups. Because they're so, like. I don't know. Hey, what's up, Water Flame? How you doing? Drill Mario. But I don't know. I mean, the thing. Did Mario, Mario Odyssey doesn't even have any power ups, they just do, like, the whole. Thing, which is still, I mean, it's pretty cool. But I think the thing about captures and what made Odyssey kind of boring to me is like, they're not that interesting to me. Like, as like general concept. I think it's weird to say. Thanks, Amelia. Frog Mario? Frog Mario is so good. That's true, that's true. Mario Odyssey does feel like a 64 too. And 64 was never really my thing. Like, don't get me wrong, I played the game as a kid, but I just always preferred Galaxy. And I love Sunshine. I think I like Sunshine more than I like either Galaxy, honestly. It's so fucking good. And I played that as a whole adult. It's a vibe, I think. I don't know. It's just a, like it feels like a 64 to me. Man, I fucking love Sunshine, dude. What saddens me about Sunshine is like Nintendo's never gonna do that again. They're never gonna make bullshit again. Like a lot of their a lot of the shines were just bullshit. And like yeah, it has its downsides, but like I think it gives the game its charm and some life. It makes it more. I want a seriously difficult challenge for a bullshit reason. Like I love that. Some of my fondest memories of Mario games are like playing it with someone and we're playing some like bullshit stage and we're like, all right, well, let's just swap off every time we die or something, you know? Like that's fun, man. Yeah. And it controls so tight. Yeah, it's so good. It's almost like with Galaxy, they like determined that the reason that Sunshine did bad is because it was too complex in the movement or something. Because Galaxy has nothing. Galaxy has like run and jump and long jump. Like Jesus Christ. Not even a dive. That's criminal. I don't even know. The direction Nintendo's going, they're gonna make a new 3D Mario game. It's not gonna be for me. It's gonna be too, way too easy. You know. I mean, Galaxy was really ambitious. 
Galaxy was, they were so proud of Galaxy, they made another one. Like, that's crazy if you really think about it. They made another one, dude. They never made another one like that. It's like Pokemon doing black two and white two. They're like, just, they were just like, damn, we did it, guys. Let's do it again. Yeah. Yeah, which is why they're some of my favorite games, because they're more than just being Mario, which is what I'm really... That's why I like Super Paper Mario. Who the fuck cares that Mario is involved, right? The games where it's most fun to be Mario is when you're Mario and Luigi, like in Bowser's Inside Story. Like, that's sick. That's when it's cool to be Mario, because it actually has something, it means something, you know what I mean? I don't know, I know I'm just rambling on here. Oh yeah, new Mario Luigi game's gonna be hype. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the rest of my time. Uh, because I was spending like an hour a day on my couch trying hunting for Mesprit, but now I don't want to spend that time on the couch anymore because it's infested with mice. So the only place I can really rest is my bed. It kind of sucks. Do I really want to shiny under my bed and then what? Watch on my phone? Like, that sucks, dude. What a downgrade. Mm -hmm. Mice Ross are really good at making everything smell like piss. I think I'm unironically like 15,000 soft resets into getting this mess for it, by the way. When I started sh like China for this mess for it, like Dio was the main villain, right? JoJo's been over for some time now. JoJo has been over for a very long time now. We're on like season three of The Boys. That's why I'm confused. <laughs> I'm glad you got my, my, my vocal reference. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Guy recorded that. How do you come up with that idea, bro? You gotta be like a fucking comedic genius to come up with that idea. I believe it. That's facts. I need to get like a snake or something or like a cat. Ugh. I just have it hang around the couch and get it solved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so snakes take a week to digest anything, bro? Like, what is with that? <sighs> Not much. Three jumping jacks? That doesn't take much effort.
That's really cool. I love when the fly disrupts all of everything. I had a fly once for a long time, but I think it got too hot to handle during the 90 degree thing, because one day that motherfucker was dead. In fact, that day, that motherfucker was sitting dead in the bathtub, so I was like, yeah. And that probably burned your shit. Uh. A ghost input was like you click a specific way that you click and it checks for your click and then by the time you like you you click between frames that's what I thought ghost clicks were like you click and let go but like in between where a click would register Galaxy is an old ass game now. I'll be more enthusiastic when I figure out a better solution to this whole couch thing, because I don't really know what I'm even supposed to do. Like, I'm gonna be clear, I don't want you guys to give me money for it. Just so we're 100% clear. Because that wouldn't even do anything, right? Because, like, the problem is getting a new. I want to move out of here, dude. Even if I got a new couch, what would they even do? You know what I mean? I've seen that video. <sighs> I was playing, uh, I was playing Kaizo Mario Galaxy with Mitch, and I had to do this star that required me to do the Stinger race, but also get these five fucking blue chips. It took like 40 minutes. Because two of them require jumping off of the off of the path to get them and like land back on the path and it was really tough because they did not make it for that. It's pretty easy to adjust to, yeah. Your brother made Kaizo Mario Galaxy? What the fuck? That's random. How? Yo, nice, let's go. Oh no, I 100% believe that. that. That was not my how. Do I have favorite Pokemon? Maybe Trico.
I always get surprised when I catch a fly by just like going like this. It's like, really? You didn't move out of that? Isn't your reaction time like five milliseconds, bro? <sighs> you know, for a lot of my friends, I'm probably their fun fact. It's weird to think about. Fun curb, I think, with 100 bits. Patrika's my homie. The first game, I played Pokemon a lot as a kid, but the first game that I really got into was Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, and I picked Trico. I have 700 hours logged in that game. Welcome, Xander. I think I started playing, uh, the first one I ever played was Heart Gold Soul Silver. But you know something, like, that makes people mad? I've never played Black and White. I never got around to it. I played Heart Gold Soul Silver. I played, um, X and Y, and then I really grew up so far. I was born like a few years earlier. Rory was there, so. Ah. Dream playlist? Yeah, I have uh oh you mean for music? No, I'm just listening to the Galaxy OST. I have a VOD channel though, if that's what you meant. Are there any new games out there worth playing? Like if I was gonna make a video on like anything new. All my content ideas revolve around games that are extremely old. country with all that I'd play Elden Ring one day is it really that hard like, every time I see something in my like my my feed about like Elden Ring it's always like this streamer played for 80,000 hours in a row and got through one boss like, really That's cool. Always fun to meet up with Ira. I'm with the uh, online friends there. Uh, are they just playing it like aimlessly? They're just like, I need to beat this boss so I will lower their health. Golden, everyone's favorite thing to do. 
Yeah, I don't know why you and Maya haven't linked. Like, I don't know, like, I would have done that already. If I was there, you know? Uh, I think I've already... The only people that are near to me that I have met up with is, like, Dedos. I think it's literally it. Everyone else in my range that I act actively talk to have linked up with. It is, you know. Oh, yeah, yours too. Both for the same reason. Especially when I was getting the meetups going on, I weren't even like 18 yet. You know, they didn't have any way to go anywhere. And that was in like what? I started, I started meeting up with people in like 2021, 2020. They're just like two years younger than anyone else in our friend group. Well, not Dedo. Dedo's is like a year younger, but still the same point stands. Well, actually, is that true? Yeah. I'm not surprised. So old, dude, in the friend group. Like, yeah, everyone's with him like a year, but like, I'm at the top of it. The only person I, I, Matt's older than me. Yeah, I'm the super geezer of the friend group, bro. Everyone's like, I'm 19, I'm 20. I'm gonna be 22 in a month. It's over. Ancient gamer, bro. Actually, I mean, that's not a hundred percent true. Because, like, the people that, like, I, I. We do our, like, bi-yearly... No, that's not the right term. Uh, what do you say? If, what is there a term for twice a year that isn't just twice a year? Isn't biannual, though, every other year? Cause you're gonna say bi-weekly, isn't that twice a- like, like, every other week? I could be wrong. I don't actually know. Semi? Really? That's not what I think of when I think of that term, but it makes sense, right? Cause what do you call, like, half of a sphere? I mean, a circle. I don't remember the term for it anymore. It's not a semi-sphere, is it? Is that is that the term? Semi-circle, yeah. Semi-sphere. Semi-circle. Uh. I forgot that prefix could mean that, honestly. Yeah, I think semi-truck. And I don't even know what that has anything to do with like a normal truck or anything. No, I'm not majoring in geometry. 
But yes, the friend group that I meet up semi-yearly with, if that's the right term, is I'm in the middle of the age group. So I guess I'm not the oldest guy ever. Not quite the oldest guy ever. Oh, I'm definitely getting up there. Dude, my house is so humid right now. Even with, I have a dehumidifier running full blast. It's still 70% humidity, 75 degrees. Not very fun. But I know the dehumidifier is working because you can see the water. I know it's doing it. <sighs> yeah, it's hella human. Gonna be past it. It's gonna be anywhere. I can do ten diagonals in a row, but I can't do one when it matters, I guess. Many such cases out here. Be really torn up about this couch because I feel like nothing. Because <sighs> normally that would incite a rather strong response in my body, but I'm definitely grieving, I think. Long time this has been taking. Let me get some water. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna try to leave the door open, maybe that will get rid of some of the, uh, humidity. It just might. Yeah, I'm drinking the humidifier water. Yeah, I was thinking about that, like, what would it be like to drink that the other day? 
Probably not very good. I don't think I've ever woken up in the middle of the night and gotten water. It seems like a universal experience, but I just never do it. Yeah, I'm uploading tomorrow. It just had a platformer, nothing big, but it's a start. I didn't remember that I even did it until someone pointed it out. Not, no, that's not serious. That's just some guy. We don't really know what he's about. I was about to like joke, ask for SSN, but I don't think that they do that in Argentina. Like that's probably not a universal thing. <laughs> Isn't it fucked up that sometimes you need your fucking like social security number to order pizza? You guys ever had that happen? It's like, what the fuck? You don't need that for. Yeah, it may have been a thing in like uh, one of the states I lived in. Who's ordering from the White House? No, that was just customary somewhere I lived. All the pizza places that were like that were like that. You needed fucking the last two digits of your SSN or you wouldn't be able to get the fucking pizza. Yeah. It's not a thing here, though. Although I rarely order pizza anymore, I just go get it. Save money anyway. I don't think mine is on my ID. I don't, I, it's in here. That's where it is. That's where it's stored. My social security number is eight, so we're neighbors. George Washington, social security number. Yeah, <laughs> one of the founders, you were there.
Did that John Hancock guy do anything except for write a really long, like, large signature to be an asshole, or what? Just out of curiosity. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's only one way to know that, and that'd be if we were all, get, like, uh, willing to share the first digit of our social security numbers, right? Because otherwise, you know, maybe it is like that, actually. Uh, probably not. I'm trying to think really hard about this. They are, uh, nine digits long? So probably not then. <sighs> That's a phone number. Make account details stream. Oh really? Hey, have you guys ever noticed that, like, all truck license plates start with Z or Y? What's with that? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm probably over born in the hospital next to me. There should be a reunion for hospital batch buddies. Same day hospital people reunion. That's true. I think I've said this before, but uh, I was born in the richest county in the U.S. And then lived in not rich conditions for a very long time. But that was only because we were, we were driving up to Ohio. And then my mom had to give birth, and there I was. It's Fairfax County, Virginia. I went back there uh, last winter to eat a Cane's. I am alive, I think. Thank you for the sub. <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty sure per person is like the richest county in the country. I also love raising canes of culverts, which is why I need them again in my life. It's time for New York to get serious about it. Give me give me canes and culverts, bro. No, there's not. It's so sad, bro. Matt's somewhere where Culver's is, so whenever I go and visit Matt, I always demand that he takes me to the fucking Culver's. Man, my life would literally be so much better if I had canes and culverts in it. I don't think I'm kidding. But I'd also probably have like 20 more pounds, so. I guess.
Oh, I had a thing in my eye. Unfortunate. I tried to blink it out, but it wasn't gonna happen. It's still in there. Ugh. Oh, it's so good. I'm going, if I went any slower, I'd think about it too long and then just eat shit and die. I know because literally every time that I'm like, I'm going too fast and we slow down, I am immediately dead on the next obstacle. So I've just given up trying that idea. Like without, without fail, going slower just fucks me up. Breaks the rhythm of it all. Which is an important factor. It really is. Fuck me, dude. Um. Yeah, you can't be thinking playing your D, bro. You're dead. The longer you can pretend like you don't care about it, the further you'll make it. <laughs> the moment I get to the red part, I'm like, alright, let's start trying. Mistake, number one, don't do that. I should just autopilot my way to the ending. Especially with fucking platform mode, man. I'm telling you. The more I think about it, the more it just goes down the drain. I have to, like... It's, it's like I'm like mentally side-eyeing the level. Like I'm not fully giving it my attention. I'm like, like, like I'm just trying to pretend like I don't care about it or something so that it does itself. It's like when you pretend not to care if the water boils or not, you know? Yeah. If Elsie was here, she'd get rid of the mice. Maybe. She's small, but she packs a punch, man. I remember once I was walking her and she saw a squirrel running up a tree and she just booked at night. She completely flipped my ass over. You know, it was home later, it's like, Phew! Is that what I was like looking away at something? We lived somewhere pretty out there when I was a kid, and we'd have, we'd have hawks, and my parents would always watch Elsie because the hawks would sometimes glance at her like she was food. Fuck, oh, that click is so hard. What are you waiting on, Xerox? That'd be sick if you got that. Depending on how much effort you put into like your like portfolio, I think I could totally see you getting that. I think you'd be extremely qualified. You sound sarcastic because everything out of my mouth sounds a little sarcastic, but I mean that genuinely. I think you'd be really good at that. Although I will be whispering ideas in your ear pretty frequently, just so you're aware. If 
to get that roll. Oh, but mini games are awesome. Yes, new idea. <laughs> I could get in a thousand win streak if I had you like watching stopping the V offers be so easy. That's how Technoblade did it. Fair question mark? I mean hey, if I really wanted to I could just get Lilith and dodge them, but I'm not playing like that, so. It'd be weird, like, because in Hypixel, there's no spectating game. It'd be weird if you could, like, fucking spectate a Hypixel bridge duel game. You know what I mean? Like, I've never had that happen before. It's just me and whoever in there. My only experience with like a like a high pixel admin is when Time Dio invited me to play UHC, and then I mined gold with a stone pickaxe, and then I got us killed within 15 minutes, I think. So I'm pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, I know. I'm just, uh. League of my own. League of my own, I say. I mean, honestly. Yeah. I know all about that. Hypixel's problem is it's not making new game modes that are interesting. It could if it wanted to, but it's not doing it. They're not following the general principles. See, here's the thing. The reason why Bed Wars is fun is not because you win every time, but because you have these moments where you're hanging out with people and you get to feel like you did something for a second. You know what I mean? Like when you break a bed, even if the team's not trying that hard, it feels really good. Or if you win a PvP fight. You know, like these like small little moments. It makes it. That's why I've kind of fallen out of love with Celeste, so. like, because of like a similar game design principle. Uh, it's fun when you do a hard frick consistently, right? But if the game just got too hard for me, then I couldn't do them consistently enough. I think about game design a lot, actually. I don't know why, but. I mean, I was also just a kid, you know. When you get older, things aren't really made for you anymore. Like, a lot of top level playing a lot of games, I can keep up with as a kid because that's what video games were that weren't that bad, you know, they were pretty easy uh, to me because I was that age. But now, the new generation is playing games like I could never, you know. 
and I'm just not able to keep with it. Ba ba ba. Nope. Yeah. That's why I I'm really frustrated. I'll always be frustrated about space. Him the standards like early 2020 was really fun. You know what I mean? Like the hardest stuff. And it just expanded and exploded so quickly as a result of as a result of him pushing the standard. And I get to newer players, maybe that's not such a big deal, but as someone who was really active in 2019 and 2020, watching hard levels go from fun to just completely out of reach. Like that was fucking miserable, man. It was miserable. I wish it would rain a single drop here, dude. And that's like, but it's, every time my forecast says it's going to like thunderstorm, it never does, but it's still like 100% humidity. Yeah. Yeah, I am upstate. We ain't getting shit up here. I haven't seen my rain, my windshield still covered with bug splatter from driving on I 90 for eight hours. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, Amelia, it just it was so fast, the level at which it got here and never needed to be like that way. I Yeah. Because I was, you know, I wasn't the best, but I was a top player back in 2019, 2020, and then, you know. Well, what really happened is, when you're getting into a game, the brain does a weird thing where it just makes the standard of whatever's been done by a human seem reasonable, even if it's fucking absurd, right? And, but I didn't have that. My standard was antiquated. And some players were able to better adjust to that, but I was never able to. Really. Yeah. No game is that. No game has had that effect more than Mania. Every time someone does something that shouldn't be possible, all of a sudden it becomes easy because their brains are like, well, we can do this now. Yeah, I mean you have good you have good like uh, prerequisites. So that's why I think you'll be good with it. Grief is fucked up, man. Nice diamond. Electric euphoria give you any trouble? <laughs> I 
Once I start hitting the gym again, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Mania an active try again. I feel so like unresolved with the game. You know what I mean? Like I never got Gamma, but I got so close. I don't even like Electric Euphoria. It's not even that good of a map. Low key. MA is so much better, even if it's like impossible. MA is not a bad map at all, it's just not 6 damage. It's like the same difficulty as him, or whatever. Station or bike's not a bad idea. Low team. I remember playing Alpha halftime back in the day. Gamma halftime was fun too. That's crazy. I'm not even sure that I could do Epsilon halftime at all. Because what? Forgotten 1.4 times 0 0.75? Wait, no. Is it 0 0.5 or 0 0.75? For halftime. It's got to be 0 0.75. There's no way it's fucking 0 0.5. I already forgot. Yeah. So what? 1.4 times 0 0.75? I can't do that in my head. Not even close. 1.05? Oh, I could probably do that. I could do that. So I guess I could do that half time. Forgotten's harder than a lot of the tech maps for me though, because it has nothing to do with like tech skill. It's all about like how fast you can burst, and I can't, because my hands aren't so good. Because <laughs> all the difficulties is where it goes like. Arr! Yeah. I can read Mario Paint pretty well. I've always been pretty gifted at speed. I just can't play it, obviously. Actually, I should say though, Epsilon, no, like uh, Mario Paint Hyper. I must have like a mental mind block. I can't read that map at all. It's like the only map I can't read at all. Like, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my brain, but I just can't do it. No, I can't read that one. Like, I can actually read the other one better. It's something's wrong with how it works. Was Anemone the last map in third Dan? There's no way. That's fucked up. They got you going from Anemone to Angel of Darkness. That's crazy, though. You're not gonna like six Dan. It's gonna be a very similar story. If you haven't already discovered that. I don't know if I ever did ninth in. I mean, I think I did, but I think I just did 10th first because I didn't like that stupid jack map.
Going from 7th Dan to 8th Dan literally took my entire life because it was my, like, 7th Dan was a lot less notes for a second. I pretty much went from 8th to Alpha, honestly. Like, I did the other two, kind of. But I don't think I actually officially cleared either of them before I just did Alpha. I was focusing on other stuff at the time, anyway. I cleared 8th in October of 2020, and then I cleared Alpha at, like, the beginning of January. That's 2021, because I was, like, busy... I was busy just doing other stuff, I think. And then I hit a wall I'm still stuck on to this day. I mean, not really. I can still fucking. Yeah, I don't know. Some people, people just have their walls, you know? To are pushing beyond it just takes forever. Like, it was such smooth sailing getting from starting of the game to, like, Alpha Dan. And then I was stuck. I couldn't even do beta's maps for, uh, like, two and a half years after that. That's just how it is, you know? Too old for the game or something, I don't know. But I just couldn't keep up anymore. Certain level, and I just... I was cooked. I'm pushing the envelope here, I should fuck off. This town theme is one of the only themes that I actually remember. Well, sorry I wasn't in a very good mood this stream. It's just one of those things, I guess. I'll, uh, I'll look for a solution. Hopefully I find one. Although, it'll take probably a few months, because I think the solution is just moving out and then getting a new couch, but... Hey, what can I say? I'll just- I'll hit the grind hard until I'm able to afford that anyway. Yeah. Alright, y'all. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.